I'm back at Border Paws Animal Shelter for another edition of Pet Project and today we are do we are in the free roaming cat room and we are showcasing Nutmeg, this adorable cat. He, <laughs> uh, tell me about his story, he came in with another cat as well that's not a bonded pair but would, you know, it yeah. wouldn't be awful if they went together. Yes. So Nutmeg came in with her sister, uh, Turmeric, and actually a daughter as well, but her daughter has since been adopted, so now these two are looking for a home. Um, it'd be nice for them to go together, but they're not like really reliant on each other, so we're okay with them going to separate homes. But as you can see, they're pretty loving. Um, they can be a little shy at first, but they warm up very quickly, and they've really come out of their shells since coming to the shelter and actually like enjoy affection from people now. So Yes, well, as you can see right here, yeah. and then I was also petting uh, turmeric earlier, yes. and, you know, she leaned right into me. She <laughs> she picked the spot she wanted scratched, and she yes. leaned herself into it, which is awesome. Can you tell me a little bit about, you know, uh, her their personality? Is yeah. she, is, are they good with dogs, um, other people, uh, you know? Yeah. Are they, they more playful? They definitely love attention from people and they're good with other cats. They're like loose in our cat room so you volunteers can come hang out with them. Really great with kids. We haven't dog tested them, mm -hmm. um, but I think with a calm dog that was respectful of their space, they would be totally fine. And a lot of the time they can be seen lounging in here on the scratching post and they really like the little hammock thing there <laughs> that they can hang out in as well. Um, so yeah, pretty well-rounded and really sweet cats, especially with the kids. So they would love a family with kids or somebody that will give them extra cuddles. <laughs> yes, they are truly very affectionate, like all the cats in the free yeah. roaming cat room, um, especially this. You said that they're really, uh, he's really good with uh, kids. Any yeah. age range be fine? Yeah, my kids are really young and they've been excellent with them and they don't seem to shy away from kids. So I think as long as they're getting attention, they would be very happy with a home with kids. <laughs> I think the biggest telling is that uh, he's been in your arms this whole time yes. and really the only time he's moved is to lean into me to get <laughs> pets so it just attests how calm he is yeah. and you know how trusting he is too as well Definitely. um now very exciting the dog new dog kennels yes. are being installed um tell me how that process is going and what the general public should know about oper uh, hours of operation yeah. and um how that works so the staff is still here from eight to five uh, throughout the week to answer phone calls um so we're answering phones from about 12 to 5. Um, we can still do reclaims. We're still letting, if you want to volunteer by appointment, as long as you let us know ahead of time. Mm -hmm. um, and then with the dog kennels, they just came in and started building them today. So they're kind of sorting through all the pieces because it was a really big shipment. And now they're starting to actually set them up. So we're really excited to see how they look once they're up. And I'm hoping by next week, you guys will be able to take some videos of what they look like. Um, but it's going to be a game changer for our staff, just like for cleanliness and being able mm -hmm. to sanitize and also um, the mental stimulation of the dogs. It'll mm -hmm. be a little calmer for them yep. because they'll have more of a visual barrier. So I'm really excited for that. And you also mentioned that some of the kennels are cater to yes. different dogs' personalities, more covered if mm -hmm. they're a little bit more, you know, reserved or yeah. open if they, you know, do love attention and yeah, all so that. So I think yeah. it's going to be very beneficial for the dogs especially. Definitely. Now, uh, uh, same question as every week. I understand that there was a recent birth yes. here <laughs> at the shelter. Very adorable. I've seen a lot of pictures of the yeah. babies and the mama. So uh, you are in need of some things um, for dogs specifically. So any yeah. donations? Yeah, so we are looking for specifically wet dog food. Um, if you are able to donate any cans of wet dog food from one of the local pet stores. We had three puppies that were born last week, so they're growing like weeds and their mom needs some extra nourishment to make sure she's able to give to them. Um, so yeah, we definitely are in need of wet dog food. Um, if you can find it in your budget to drop <laughs> them off, we would be so appreciative. Awesome. Well, thank you again for yeah. joining me. And I've lost Nutmeg, but uh, <laughs> having a snack. <laughs> yes. He's a little famished after being a star. All yeah. uh, um, But he really is the sweetest. And I yeah. know that he will make the perfect addition to any household.